Hey guys, this is Tori and Ryan from Nifty Thrifties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just had some great Indian food. Mm. We are on our way to the bins. And that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> we watched Forrest Gump recently. <laughs> Say about that. Yeah, like honestly, I, that's it's pretty straightforward. Do you have anything to say yeah, about that? We're not necessarily looking for a 45 ASP this time, but uh, it's also Monday, so this could be awful. It's kind of a crapshoot. I don't know why exactly, but it seems like Mondays and Wednesdays are usually pretty bad at our bins. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe we'll, maybe we will be pleasantly surprised. But. It's all good. We're happy. We got good food in our bellies. And we're going to go do some treasure hunting and have a good time. <sighs> all right. So we'll see you in there. So it was actually a pretty crowded day at the bins, per use. But it's all good. Found a couple of things right off the bat. Green shirt. This pea coat looked interesting to me, but it turned out it had a huge fat hole in it. So out. Then I found a pair of Beta brand pants, which we did pick up and we did actually take home with us. This was a Bonjour shirt. Turns out it was J. Crew. I didn't think it was anything at first, but Tori thought it might be interesting. We did look into it, ended up not being quite worth it for us. We didn't do a ton of filming today because it was so crowded in there and we didn't want to bug people. So sorry about that. You can see in the cart there's one of those folding chairs. Um, we ended up not getting those. We got a lot of clothing items on this particular trip. This is a cool plaid Pendleton jacket that we found with an interesting corduroy collar. It looks very vintage, probably from the 80s. We actually did pick that and take it with us as well. All right, we are back. We've got two Ikea bags full of stuff <laughs> to go through with you. Yeah. So we'll just jump jump into it. Um, right here, we've got a pair of Beta brand pants, size large, and they are black. They've got some stains, but they should come out with wash. Yeah. And I've sold Beta brand for about $40, and these were looking like $35 on eBay when I checked them, so. Yes, they, those are what? premium stretchy. Yeah, they really are. They're like rayon and other stuff, spandex. And so basically these are work pants that feel like yoga pants. That's their whole thing. At first glance, this is unassuming because it's just a Hanes black t-shirt. But what's cool about it is it's actually a Hanes Supreme. Supreme. He's always on the hunt for Supreme because he found it once. Hands Supreme. And he's like, I want to find Supreme at the bin. So you did. We did, did find, find it. We found an actual Supreme. Well, well actually, sort of. it was like Supreme Spain, but it still sold for $90. Yes. Supreme Spain, depending on who you talk to, is actual Supreme. Yeah. Um, but there is a big debate going on about it mm -hmm. uh, because of international laws. Anyways, though, this is a Hanes Supreme collaboration. I believe this is also real. Um, it's not as valuable because it's used and it's also a Hanes shirt, but we're thinking um, we should be able to get, Here's my depending plan. on where we put it. Yes, so like on eBay, about $15 maybe. Um, but on the real real, I want to send this into the real world because they accept this. I don't usually get a lot for what I send in. It's like 30, 40% if it's under 100 something. But I saw that this exact shirt sold for 40, no, $60 on the real real. So that would mean I would get 18 of that and I wouldn't have to deal with the customer or taking the photographs or anything. So I think I'm just going to send that in. They might not accept it because it's not in perfect condition. Yeah. Um, but we'll just see how that goes. And it's a Hanes Supreme. It's Hanes Supreme. They take it. Supreme does a lot they of collaborations do. with a lot of different brands. Most notably, probably the North Face. Um, yeah, they're a, they're a skateboard brand out of New York, but they're pretty exclusive. Like they do t-shirt drops like once a month or once a week or something. And then once they're gone, they're gone and they're, they never make them again. So they're very rare. And if you find them, they can be very valuable. So if you see Supreme, definitely look into it. Yeah, it is faked a lot too. Yeah. Um, but you can often tell by the quality of the item if it's real or fake. 
Yeah. You'll be able to feel the quality if it's a real Supreme shirt. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so this... We're just starting with all the black items. There's a lot of black items. Um, so this is a Pendleton... I believe it's a vintage Pendleton um, wool suit, size 12, woman. And then also I found a skirt. It's like a midi-length skirt. So it's like this professional suit set. And it's in really good condition. Um, unfortunately, when I got home, I, I didn't do like a lot of research on this. I just was like, oh, it's Pendleton and it's a suit. Like that's worth a lot probably. I saw one listed for maybe 50 or 60 on eBay, but no sold recently. So I don't know. It definitely has value though. Yeah. It's Pendleton wool and it is a set. So yeah. yeah, we'll see what we can get for that. What is it with us always finding like black uniform suits for like these high end brands? Like, oh yeah, like, like Louis, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. <laughs> so these are really strange. These are leather pants, like suede leather. Yeah. Um, and I saw those and I'm like, what the heck? By the brand Toffs. Yeah. Yeah. Random. It's like a, this is vintage. Yeah. Vintage tops, leather pants, size 12. So they're women's. Um, but yeah, I saw these and I'm like, those are probably worth something because they're vintage and they're leather. And you looked it up and we were yeah, seeing about 40. About 40. Yeah. For some leather pants. And I can smell these pants and I don't even have to do the smell test. They smell like good leather. Your leather smell test. Yeah. You should just have a patented like leather smell test. Smell test. <laughs> Smell test. Yeah, this is an item that we went back for because we were trying to get more weight. Yeah. And so we were like, this is probably worth something. I'll just throw it in there. <laughs> yep. And it was. We were right. Yeah. Another thing that we just threw in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, was a wedding dress. You might need some help with this. Yeah, I think I do. Um, so it's a David's Bridal plus size. What is it? Size 16W, um, strapless wedding dress. And it does have some stains on it, which I saw later, like coming back, but it helped us get to that, that uh, 25 pound yeah. mark. It had this really ugly green sash around here, which I just like, it was so cheap and gross. And so I just took it off. Um, so I kind of want to try this at a bridal consignment shop that I went to with my sister for her. She found her dress there. And um, yeah, so I want to clean it up and see if they will take it. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah, bridal consignment, there's a niche skill. Yeah, I mean, wedding dresses are so expensive, so. Yeah. We will see how that goes. How it's an much experiment. Would a David's bridal wedding dress like this go for normally? Oh, probably around a thousand. Jeez. Um, yeah. Probably yeah. won't get that much for that. No. At that consignment shop, even some of the cheaper dresses were pretty expensive. And so, yeah, I'm interested to see how this does, if they accept it, how it goes. And if they don't, then I guess I will sell it myself <laughs> and just maybe do an auction because it takes up a lot of space. So I would probably want to get it out sooner than later. And if it's an absolute fail, we got it for a couple bucks. So we'll just yeah. re donate it. Somebody yeah. else can have a nice wedding dress for very cheap mm -hmm. <laughs> or even like it could be bridal decor for like a wedding i don't know <laughs> probably not no sure so this is a cool um what do you call this quilted quilted puffer coat. coat yeah is it it's not really puffer it's just like a quilted pleated coat with a belt sash um, You're like almost hitting me with it. This is from the brand. Okay, so Shelley this is Seagal. from the brand Laundry by Shelly Seagal, um, which I had never heard of. Tori had never heard of. And so we just did a little bit of comp checking right there at the store. And it looked like it was actually something. Yeah. And uh, so we decided to pick it up because it didn't have any damage or didn't have anything that was wrong with it. It was a little bit of pilling, but we can take care of that pretty easily. And uh, what were you seeing for comps on the... Yeah, I couldn't find this exact one, but there was a similar one that sold recently for 50, which is pretty good. And that surprised me because I think that I've like seen this brand before or heard of it and I just didn't think it was a thing. Maybe mm -hmm. because it's like this coat, it's more 
valuable yeah. and maybe I will look at this brand more. Yeah, and honestly, maybe if we hold on to this until the fall winter season, this would probably go for more. Ooh, this is fun. So, this I got for myself because our niece is having her first birthday and it's like kind of hippie themed. Yeah, so it's this really nice material and it's La Causa, which I think is actually sold at Anthropology. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna try that out and that would be perfect for that. We're still looking for something for Ryan, but <laughs> that was a good find. These are a pair of Wolverine shorts that are ripstop, which you won't be able to see. Um, I'll do a, a close up of that design pattern. But basically, it helps to uh, make. Prevents ba rip. Oh. Basically, it prevents the shorts from getting ripped and shredded just by the way that it's made. Um, with the way that material. it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Wolverine. I don't know if this is actually worth very much. It's not. Um, but I'm keeping these for me, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I don't care if they're chuggy. I am a millennial and I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> these are a pair of Anthropology 11Zs green striped seersucker wide leg pants in a size 6. I got these and didn't really look at how much they were, but when I got home I saw a recent comp for a lot and it surprised me. Like, not a crazy amount, but, um, yeah, so it was close to $40. The Earth Sucker. The Earth Sucker. Oh my gosh. Is that empty? No, it's not. There's one more, there's one more, and this is just for me. It's a maroon H&M cotton top. And that's for me. And that's for me. <laughs> All right, so this is a pair of pants from Acne Studios. And it's a brand that's accepted at the Real Real and it retails for a lot, it resells for a lot. I'm not completely sure how desirable this style is because I didn't find any recent comps on eBay for it, but comps for other pairs of pants were like 50 and up. Wow. So wow. yeah. Wow. Anyway, I figured like that would be worth taking a chance on at the bins. They're like kind of this chino flat front woman's pant and it's the Sam Satin in a size 14. Sam Satin. Sam Satin. This is an Athleta long sleeve top uh, v-neck. Softest thing in the world. It's pretty soft. Um, this isn't, you know, this is pretty basic. But it's Athleta, so it'll sell for probably 20 bucks. And it's super soft and stretchy and premium. Boom, bada boom, bada boom. That is supreme. No, so it's not. No, it's, it's not. Athletic. Athletica. Athletica. That's an interesting thing. Yeah. So I found out that like pretty much everything we got that we didn't know like it was a thing was anthropology. This is anthropology, I believe. Oh. I believe. Um, it's Dylan. Okay. So when I say anthropology, it's like brands that are sold at anthropology. Anyway, yes. So we picked this up because it was the weirdest fabric and we were like what is this i don't even so, know how to describe what this feels like yeah well it's cupro cupro and i did some research and it's apparently considered the vegan silk and it's washable vegan so silk. yeah so it's the highest level of rayon that you can get it's very high quality uh we noticed that johnny was features this fabric a lot um a lot yeah and so this kind of kind of reminds you of like a Johnny Was situation, Jeez. like boho. You know what I would describe this this feeling like? Hmm. If you're our age and maybe a little bit younger, you might remember that there used to be MP3 players. This was before iPods, and there were MP3 players and other electronic devices that had this material on them that was like a film that was like kind of like a matte finish film that they would put on as part of the material of the plastic of these devices and you could peel it off if you wanted to um, and it would be more of a glossy underneath like a normal plastic texture but this feels like that that 
rubbery, like buttery soft, rubbery matte material is the closest thing I can think of to describe what this feels like. Yeah, that might be hard to remember or obscure. Maybe I'm the only one, maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> but He's not like a crazy old man. That's what it feels like to me. So here's the next thing. This is cool because this is a vintage Pendleton jacket that's plaid and awesome. And it's got a corduroy collar. collar. And this is interesting. This is probably from the 80s, I would guess. 100% wool. And Pendleton stuff is, is very high quality mm -hmm. and I think would be considered a luxury brand usually. Yeah, usually. Like yeah. if you walk into their stores, their prices are insane. Especially yeah. on their, um, their like blankets and stuff. Yeah. I always pick up Pendleton, but it's, it's, it doesn't sell for as much as you might think. We don't um, always pick up Pendleton. Well, I always pick it up to look at, and we got some in this case. Yeah. Um, this looked like it was doing okay. Um, a similar one sold for like just under $40. So we probably could get maybe more, maybe less. Sorry about that. I realized that the overhead fan was turned on, so that's why that audio is different now, but continue. From the beginning? No, just keep going from where we were. Oh, okay, yeah. So I found these um, pair of Sphinx 2XL. They're these pants um, that are stretchy and they seem like they're kind of new. Um, and it looks like, I mean, I might be able to get more, but I saw a recent comp for like 30. Also one that was like under 45, so we'll see. But they are in excellent condition they've got some like dust marks so i will wash them but yeah so this is just a puffer vest this is nike acg which the real real does accept um that stands for all conditions gear and this is an outer layer of a three-part coat so we only found the outer part um this used to have um sleeves that would zip off we also didn't find the sleeves but as the vest itself what were you saying for comps? Honestly, I couldn't find that exact one. Um, the more tactical the item, the better it does in ACG. This is not like super tactical as far as like having a bunch of pockets everywhere and stuff that does have some inside, mm -hmm. but um, I would guess around 30 for that. Cool. The black puffer vest, quilted. This. I'm so glad that Ryan looked this up because, or like found this because we were sorting through a bin and I had found something like this and it was like Gap or Old Navy or something and I just put it back and I thought this was the same item, but he looked at it and it was Banana Republic, which can do okay in this style, maybe like 30, 40, but I kind of want it for myself. There's some stains, which I'll stain treat, but it is a tan double-breasted trench coat and I've been on the hunt for one so yeah I was excited about that I grabbed it because it looked like a Burberry coat at first yeah that's always the hope right you yeah just, yeah you like find something like that and you're like Burberry is it you could it be <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is another just basic Nike athletic tank well it's actually a tennis a tennis dress. sport? Not a, well, yeah, it's a dress. Oh, 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 a tennis dress. Yeah, which can do pretty well. So I'm so. stupid. I didn't know that. No, you're fine. It's pretty short. It's no Nike RF, but it still feels premium. It feels It's really stretchy. It's definitely probably got some like spandex or rayon in it or something. Had a good sell through too. So probably 35 on that. Not too bad. Yeah. For a Nike piece. This is another dress that we realized was anthropology and it's a Kemi and Ken and it is this like sheer midi dress I looked closer and realized I think it had a lining previously which is taken out so I don't know how much I will get for this but 
I'm guessing in the 20 range, 20, 25, 30. That brand, I was seeing a few like higher solds, um, but not like anthropology for me and my experience doesn't have the best sell through. So you kind of have to be careful about what you pick up. This is just a huge Patricia Nash dust bag. And I actually looked this up just, just to check and like one like this sold for $15 on eBay, um, which is random. But I think that I'm going to use this as like something to ship larger items in because I don't have a lot of like Maybe I should just order these, but like plastic liners for items to protect them if I'm shipping them in a box. Mm. And so this is really nice to have for larger items. And I do have a Patricia, Patricia Nash bag that I could just have this or like put it in, but it's a lot smaller. Mm. Oh, you found these. I did? Yeah. Or something like. I guess uh, I found these. So these are just a pair of Fabletics Peter Pan pants, <laughs> um, yoga pants. Yeah, that's, you know, pretty basic. Wasn't seeing a lot on those, Probably but... Like 15 or 20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fabletics, pretty good brand to pick up. Yeah, for, for that price range. Those might go in a box. Okay, this is like exciting and like really sad at the same time. I, I found this in a new bin and it's Kate Spade, New York. It's this silk dress and it is very beautiful, very lovely, but it has a lot of flaws. So it has discoloration on the collar and like tag area in the arms, like where it's white. And then the worst part is that it like used to be glued, it looked like, and that came apart. And yeah. so it's like pretty gross. Like we're <laughs> like, we're pretty sure it's glue. Yes, yes. <laughs> because there's a fold line. Yeah. So we think that it used to be like this, where it was like folded in on itself. Yeah, and that glue just and the glue deteriorated or something. <laughs> so so yeah. honestly, I probably shouldn't have gotten this, but um, I was like, oh, it's Kate Spade and oh my gosh. But yeah, I don't know. I think I saw one that sold for like <laughs> probably thirty, thirty dollars. So it's what? it's in rough condition. Thirty bucks in the condition it's in. No. Oh. No. What I'll double that? check. We'll double check. But oh, it didn't. That exact one it didn't sell, but it's listed for forty five. So uh, it's not looking too hot. That so might probably be a fail. shouldn't have uh, yeah. picked that up. That's pretty bad. But it was like, it's Kate Spade, we have Oh my to. gosh. I'll do this. This is an Alpha Elite t-shirt. The cool like wolf logo emblem. I don't know if that's their actual logo or what. It is. It is mm -hmm. their logo. Alpha Elite, this feels like really premium, stretchy. It's cotton and spandex. Um, we t was that one shirt that we tried to sell, or we did sell. We did an Alpha Elite shirt one other time, right? Mm -hmm. And it was teal. Yeah. It was like 15 to 20, and that's probably what we can get for this. Yeah. I also, I don't know if it's my style, but I'm like, well, maybe I'll try it on. I think it's a guy shirt. It's a medium. Yeah. You could try I it. I don't know. It's just like got this like. This is like wolf. my. This is like it, my it style. It is very much your style. But it's my style. It's mine. My, my, my own style. But I could not wear this because it's way too small for me. But yeah, that's actually a really cool shirt. Like I, I kinda, know. I kind of want one for my own self. <laughs> Well, they're not In expensive, my... so. Really? <laughs> On the resale market. Cool. I'm going to look for one then. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then a few other things. I found this in a new bin, and it's a Madewell texture and thread um, retail for tag. 45 And it's a cotton top. That is so strange looking. It really is. It looks like it was made out of like a hotel curtain. I know, it's so weird. These buttons do button down. They're not just decorative. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I was seeing like maybe, maybe 20 or 30 actually for a pre-owned one of those. That could be a good box item as well. Yeah, yeah. 
And the last thing, do you want to talk the about? Last it? thing. It, the last thing in this bag. Sure. Yeah, you do it. Yeah. You found it. So this is a Kohan pebbled leather bag. I found a Kohan pebbled leather bag in this color, different styles, like a hobo style. Um, more of a bucket bag style that sold for 35, but it was very damaged. So it could, could have gone for a lot more. So this, I, it has like a few marks here and there, but I don't know, maybe 40 plus for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pretty it's good. really nice. Oh, we also found a Dooney and Burke bag. We did. This time while we were there, but it had a, a side that was all discolored. We're pretty sure it was real, but because of the discoloration, we decided to put it back. Yeah. And then later on that day, I saw this guy, like, had it the same bag, but he had it filled with shoes and was just dragging it around. Oh, that same, the Dooney and Burke bag? <laughs> yeah, same bag. It's not going to hold a lot of shoes. He, I don't know. He had a few shoes stuffed into it, but I don't think he even knew what it was. <laughs> 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 just dragging around a duty and Oh my bag. gosh. Well, it's funny because <laughs> like that's another brand that's like, oh my gosh, that's a designer, but it doesn't necessarily do that well. Resell? Like, yeah, certain things can, of course, but like the older stuff, like that particular like um, style didn't look like it was doing that good. Hmm. I should have applied the same like mentality to the Kate Spade thing. Like this is wrecked. I will not get it. But sometimes it's just hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially when you find a big time designer item. Yeah, so we got a couple of more things. So that was it for the bins trip from this. Except for a Nordstrom. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I found a, a Nordstrom. Oh, which ties into this. Right. I found a Nordstrom <laughs> hanger. It's just, it's a nice heavy duty wooden hanger for this reason. But I'll start with the story. We just went to a couple of um, other thrift stores this last week and a consignment shop um, in another town nearby and found just a couple of things. Um, so I guess we'll just start with this. Mm -hmm. This is cool. This is a really nice new with tags Lauren Ralph Lauren wool pea coat. Uh, pea trench coat actually. And this retailed for well over $100. So yeah, Lauren Ralph Lauren is one of their medium tier lines. Um, some Lauren Ralph Lauren stuff can go for quite a bit. This retailed for over $100. And we thought this was really cool and we picked it up. So we did pay up a bit for this. Bought it for about 30, but we think that we can probably flip it for 100. So it's a little bit of a risk, but I think it's a pretty good bet. Yeah, new with tags, wool, cashmere, yeah. Ralph Lauren. Might not, yeah. It might not sell in this season, so we might have to sit on this until the fall time, but I think it'll go in the fall time. I tried mm -hmm. it on. It does look good on me. It did look it good It is on my you. size, <laughs> but I think we might want to try to sell this and, <laughs> and not me keep it. Right. It's not really my style. I don't know. You should add that photo in. I'll put a photo in, but yeah, it's not really my style. <laughs> So that was one cool thing that we found. And I'm going to take this nice Nordstrom <laughs> hanger and use it for this because it's more heavy duty. So I found this Banana Republic 100% leather men's medium jacket. And it's also, I did pay up for it, $30. Um, I believe I should be able to get around 100, maybe more, maybe less, like give or take. But yeah, I remember hearing from a few people that they had sold Banana Republic leather jackets for quite a lot. The leather items in Banana Republic can do pretty well. Uh, it's not always a very strong brand, but yeah, I was anxious to try this out and see how it goes for me. Also, we went to St. Vincent de Paul in that area and found this pair of fry boots. For, and we, for $20, so we paid up for these two. And like, in hindsight, I'm like, I'm not sure if I should have paid that much for these because there's like kind of a weird style. Like they kind of like go up a little bit. I don't know, but they're unique. And we are gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Why does it say as is? I don't know, Did I couldn't find any out? flaws. 
so. Fry is normally a pretty good brand to pick. Yeah, that's one that sold for like close to 200 for me. You have to find the right style. I think those are cool looking. They are, I mean, they're very interesting. I just get frustrated with Fry because it's hard for me to find the exact style name. I was also really excited to find this at that Goodwill. It's a page denim jacket and it's for myself. I paid $15 for it. Um, I think I could resell it for 30 or 40 or something like that. But what I love about this and why I'm keeping it is it's a denim jacket, but it's soft. It's like very, yeah, it's a lot softer than most denim jackets that I've tried on that are very like bulky and like rough. And yeah, I love it. So I'm glad we went to that Goodwill because we just stopped in to go to the bathroom, honestly. Like we didn't really expect to find anything, mm -hmm. but of course that's when you find a bunch of stuff. So it was a good day for jackets and coats there. Yeah. So that's it for the clothing items from this haul. And real quick, we're gonna show you some of the just oh, random knickknacks. I forgot, and stuff. you're right. And that'll be the end of this video. But uh, yeah, do you wanna start with your thing? Yeah. So Ryan found this in a book bin and it is a set of books, the <laughs> Kingdom Keepers set. And I read this growing up, me and my sister did. And it's about a group of kids that they like try to save the day, like something's going wrong in the Disney parks. And yeah, so it's really nostalgic for me. And I kind of want to like, I'm reading Island of the Blue Dolphins right now, which is mm -hmm. like a wonderful nostalgic book for me. Um, so after I finish that, I will start these up to go to sleep too. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> we started reading more at night. And yeah, so I'm very excited about these. Um, they were originally $43, so good find. Yeah, still sealed. Cool, so I'll start with this. I just, I found Freaks and Geeks, the complete season. I love this TV show. It only went for one season and that was canceled, so this is a DVD box set. It's pretty cool. Um, probably paid too much for this, because I think you can get oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, for some reason, Goodwill is now like, oh, if it's a TV box set, it's $5, even at the bins. Because it's five of them or something. I don't know. Right. So I'm pretty sure I could have gotten this for five bucks online, too. That's the thing is if it was at a thrift store and it was like five dollars, you'd probably be like, I'm fine. But at the bins, you're like, it's a deal. And then it's like <laughs> you find out later, like, oh, it's five dollars. And you're like, yeah, that's not oh. really a deal. Yeah. But you know what? It's all right. Good show. Um, then I found a couple of records. This was the first one. This is a Chopin record. It's the first classical music one that I've ever got. It's kind of like a greatest hits compilation of Chopin's music. It's inside of a plastic liner, so it was in really good condition. So that was cool. Um, I found that at a Goodwill store. And then this was really neat. I found this at the bins. And this is a Beatles record. This is an original 1969 Abbey Road, but it is in horrible condition. <laughs> it was loose by itself in a junk bin with a whole bunch of like old dead Barbies and like yeah, really? just chunky toys and whoops. Chunky uh, toys. Yeah, it was just like, it's been hammered. It's all scratched up. We tried to play it. It's like sort of listenable, but like it's got Barely. a lot of skips. Not really. and, and it's, it's in pretty bad condition. So this is probably going to be some cool wall art at some point. But it is cool because it is an original Abbey Road. Um, but that is not the coolest record that I found this week. So when we were at the bins yesterday, we went to the front. We found out that we didn't quite have 25 pounds of stuff. And so we were like, we'll just go back and do another round and see if we can find five more pounds of stuff to get us over that limit. And I'm glad we did because while we were over there, they had brought out a whole bunch of new junk bins. And we were kind of digging through a clothes bin on one side and I happened to kind of glance over and there was this box sitting there kind of hidden in this junk bin and I noticed that there were some records in it. And I'm like, I'm gonna go check out these records really quick. I'm glad we did <laughs> because I found this. This is an original Michael Jackson thriller from 1982. And that's awesome. We like Michael. Um, 
this is one of the greatest selling albums of all time, so it's not necessarily rare or anything. Like, I think everybody and their mom had this record at one point, including my own mother. <laughs> mother? Mother. And it's also in perfect con condition because it was inside of this sleeve. nice sleeve. So we found a perfect Michael Jackson thriller, and that is probably one of my favorite items we've found mm -hmm. in the recent past. And I'm definitely keeping that for myself. If I wanted to sell that, probably 30 because, like I said, it's not the rarest ever, but it is cool. So, yeah, that was a fun find. All right, well, that was it for that haul and those thrift store finds. Um, yeah, quite a bit of good stuff on this trip. It was a little, it was more positive. I think that we were in better spirits this time. Yeah. Because we found... It's been pretty rough. The last few times we went has not been very good and we've been pretty discouraged about it. Mm -hmm. So I think lowering our expectations a bit from the $45 average sales price model has helped mm -hmm. um, a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's made it more fun again. Also, when you think about it, it's like, okay, we paid what, 45, 40, 45, 45-ish <laughs> dollars. And if we sell like a few of these pieces, it'll pay for it. And the rest could be just free or like whatever's left over, you know? So it's kind of like a shopping spree and business trip combined, which yeah, it's fun for us. Hey, thanks again for checking out this video. If you learned something or enjoyed what you saw, please take a second to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you want more nifty thrifties in your life, why not subscribe to our channel and ring the bell icon to get notified when we make new videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.